and welcome to today's lesson, Exponents. We'll start off by looking at an example of what an exponent is. Here we have 5, which is called our base, and then a small 4 in the upper right hand corner. This is called our exponent. So an exponent is used to show that a number is being multiplied by itself a specific number of times. The base is the factor being multiplied, and the exponent is the number of times. This is also called being raised to a power. So what exactly does 5 to the 4th power mean? Well, we know we are going to multiply a base to itself, and we know we should only be multiplying 5s here. The 4, the exponent, tells us how many times we are going to be repeating our 5. So 5 to the 4th power really means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Let's look at some more examples. We have a table here with three different forms. Exponential, expanded, and standard. Let's talk about what these forms mean. Exponential form is really just talking about any number with an exponent in it. Our expanded form is talking about the factor being repeated with multiplication. This will have the one factor, the base, being multiplied a specific number of times depending on the exponent. Our final form is our standard form. So think of this as the product. So once I've multiplied out the expanded form to get an answer, that's my standard form. So we see that we have 2 to the 6th power here. That means that my base 2 is going to be multiplied by itself 6 times. So in expanded form, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. To get the standard form here, I would actually multiply all of these 2's together. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and finally, 32 times 2 is 64. So 64 is our standard form. There is another way to write multiplication. So I have been using an x for multiplication for the standard form. But we are actually going to use another symbol to show multiplication, which is simply a circle. So let's go ahead and look at 3 to the 4th power. I know that I'm going to be repeating 3, my base, 4 times. So I'm going to be multiplying 3 by itself 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. To find my standard form here, I'm going to multiply 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. And so we end up with a standard form of 81. Take a moment and pause the video to see if you can figure out what 7 to the 3rd power is in expand, expanded and standard forms. So you should have gotten for expanded form 7 times 7 times 7. I know 7 times 7 is 49 and 49 times 7 is 343. That wraps up our video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.